We're going to turn now to former President Trump's impeachment trial set to begin one week from today and tonight, how the former president's lawyers now plan to defend him. As House Democrats, the House managers will argue the former president was, quote, singularly responsible for the deadly Capitol siege. Rachel Scott on Capitol Hill again tonight. Tonight, in a sweeping 80-page brief, House Democrats laying out their case against Donald Trump, declaring him singularly responsible for the Capitol insurrection, calling it a betrayal of historic proportions. <laughs> Democrats charged the former president whipped up a mob of supporters into a frenzy, pointing to these words. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. House prosecutors citing these videos obtained by Just Security as evidence of just how the crowd responded in real time to the president's words. Democrats argue Trump spent months laying the groundwork for the insurrection, flagging this moment from the first debate. Stand back and stand by. And highlighting Trump's phone call, pressuring Georgia's Secretary of State to find enough votes to help him win. So what are we going to do here, folks? I only need 11,000 votes. Fellas, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. Tonight, Trump's lawyers responding, saying the former president did nothing wrong, claiming when he told this to his supporters. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. That he was talking about the need to fight for election security in general. They say the First Amendment entitles Trump to express his belief that the election results were suspect, claiming there is insufficient evidence to prove him wrong. That is not true. There have been multiple audits and recounts, and judges rejected more than 60 lawsuits from the president and his allies. Ultimately, Trump's lawyers insist the trial is unconstitutional since Trump is no longer in office. Most constitutional scholars disagree, and Democrats today argue if provoking an insurrectionary riot against a joint session of Congress after losing an election is not an impeachable offense, it's hard to imagine what would be. This all begins one week from today, and Rachel, we know with Republicans in the Senate and their vote in recent days, this impeachment trial, in their words, is unconstitutional. The Democrats will now argue that's not the case because they say that would essentially mean a president uh, would not be held accountable for their actions in their final weeks of office. That's exactly right, David. And tonight, those House impeachment managers say there can be no January exception when it comes to impeachment that a president must answer for his conduct from his first day in office through his last. David. All right, Rachel Scott, our congressional correspondent tonight. Rachel, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.